My name's Mark Herodimos, and this is Math Guide. Today we're going to take a look at how to do chemistry problems. And specifically, this lesson is going to talk about how to make a specific mixture, a specific amount of a specific concentration. All right, here I have a word problem. Uh, Dr. Igor has to make 500 milliliters of a 12% uh, H2SO4 solution. Hydro this is a sulfuric acid, sorry, sulfuric acid. Uh, all right, well, you know, normally what happens is in a chemistry lab is that you have some known amounts, like, and you have some known concentrations. Like, let's say on a shelf you've got a 20% concentration of sulfuric acid, and you've got also on another jar or container you got 5% concentration. We're going to take some amount of 5%, some amount of 20%, we'll mix those two together to make the 12% solution. How much of the 12, 20 and the 5%? We don't know. Don't know how much of, of each to use. All right, well it turns out to solve this problem, because it really does sound like a difficult problem, we use a table to do this. All right, so this is going to help us organize all the information uh, to this problem. All right, well, let's see, what were we given? So I'm going to go through this problem, and let's see, 500 milliliters. Uh, let's see, that's the total mixture. So I'm going to put 500 milliliters, given that amount. Let's see, 12% solution, that's a percent. And remember, in our table, we're always going to put the decimal. Remember, you take that decimal, and you move the decimal two places to the left. That's how I got the 12%. All right, well, that takes care of these two pieces of information, the 500 milliliters, the 12%. I've got those covered. Let's see, I've got the 20% and 5%. Well, let's see, the strong percent must be our 20%. So, again, I'm going to write that as a decimal number. And our weak percent is 5%. That 0.5, 0.5 would be 50 so it's 0.05. Remember, move the decimal two places to the left. All right, so we got all the given information into our table. Now comes the new stuff. All right, so when we solve this problem, we're trying to figure out how much strong solution to use. We don't know how much to use, so that is our variable. Uh, we want to figure out how much weak solution to use. I can't use X because this is some different amount. It's probably not going to be the same amount as x or as the strong solution. So I'm going to use a different variable. The y indicates that it is the weak solution and it's a different amount, probably going to be a different amount than the x. All right, so we got this all in our table. Now uh, with our table, the way this table is designed is you're going to multiply across to get this last column. So picture multiplying all the values going across the table in a horizontal fashion. So I'm going to multiply x times 0.20. I'm going to get 0.20x. I'm going to get, let's see, y times 0.05. I'm going to get 0.05y. And I'm going to multiply these two guys, which I did earlier with a calculator, 500 times 0.12, which is 60. Okay, got it. All right, now it turns out that once we complete this table by the process that I just showed you, it turns out that there's two equations here. Um, I should know that the strong solution we use plus the weak solution should be equal to 500 milliliters. So here we're going to use this as one equation. And I also know that the strong solution, acid, the weak solution, acid, if I add the amount of acids together, it should be equal to the total uh, amount of acid in our, in our total mix. Okay, so in other words, here's another equation. So the first column and the second column will be equations that we can use. All right, so let's see. Our first equation is x plus y equals 500. That's our first column. And then our third column would be point uh, 0 0.20x plus 0.05y equals 60. And that's our second equation. Yep, if you haven't already guessed, here's a system of equations, right? I got two variables, two equations. 
So it's called a two by two system. Now, you, you've got to know how to solve this to do these types of problems. It is a requirement of doing these chemistry problems. There's a number of ways you could do it. You could use matrices. You could graph the two lines and find the point of intersection. You could use RREF with your calculator, which is reduced row echelon form. You could use the multiplication addition method, or otherwise known as elimination. There's many ways to do it. I'm not going to spend time in this video explaining how to do that process. So instead, I'm going to tell you that I've done the problem already. And it turns out that x is equal to 233.3. And then it turns out that y, well, remember that they have to add up to be 500, right? x plus y is 500. I just plopped 233.3 here subtract it and I can solve that for y pretty easily and it's 266.6 okay and I rounded of course these to the nearest tenth and I know that my volume is in milliliters so I know that we're talking milliliters still and remember that the 233 is x that represents the 20 percent so I know I'm going to use 233.3 milliliters of the 20% solution. I'm going to use 266.6 milliliters of the weak solution, which is the 